everybody. This what y'all want me to read? Mm -hmm. Okay. Warning. The following show is intended for mature audiences and contains adult content, Ooh. graphic language, harsh topics, absurd opinions, okay. and unrestrained points of view. Okay. Listener's discretion is advised. Any views and opinions expressed in this podcast are personal and belong solely to this podcast owners and do not represent those of people, okay. institutions, or organizations that the owners may or may not be associated with in professional or personal capacity. Okay. Unless explicitly stated, any views or opinions are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, or individual. Thank you for listening. Oh, y'all serious, huh? You heard about that, um, that other conspiracy they were coming out with about the uh, G5 towers that were emitting um, radiation? Yeah, that causes radiation causes uh, those the, similar symptoms. Yeah, and it also causes the immune system to yeah like fuck up and whatnot. And I I don't know I don't know if it, I don't know if if that could be a f- a factor that is you know I don't know, dude. Because we do have those towers in the city. Mm-hmm. Uh, some are people live right next to those towers. Yeah, we don't have them. We don't have them around uh, where I live. There, there's not, there's not um many of them around that are close by. But there is a few that are at least five, seven, eight, ten miles away. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Radiation travels, and it not only travels, but they're uh, recepting. So if there's one five miles away from the other one, they're still recepting. So <clears throat> the frequencies of radiations are are traveling. Well, from my understanding, from my understanding, they were they were saying that like 4G is kind of like a shadow, right? Where it casts, but then eventually it tapers off, and that's where you get your blind spots. Okay, your blind spots of 4G. So if you're in a place where you don't have 4G or reception or whatever the fuck, it's because you're in a blind spot. You're in a spot where the uh the 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 four G or whatever it is already tapered out and it's not it's not there anymore, right? Five G is like a fucking beam. It's just connected. There's no tapering out of it. It's just a fucking it's there. That's it. Full on radiation. Yeah. Yeah word. Damn. The the other crazy shit is this. Okay. Electronics, electromagnetic fields, they cause uh, the stimulant, the stimulus of uh, cells and also create uh, bad cells, malignant cells that eventually can turn into cancer. Look at this room right now. One, two, three, four, five, six fucking devices. Seven, Seven eight. eight. The camera's off right now. But that would be nine. You know what I mean? So we're we're I at the end of the day, I really don't know. It's a heavy argument. Yeah. Because we've been around it. You know? So the thing is this long term effects. I okay, so that's I think that's where that's where the conversation really comes strong yeah. because you don't you don't fathom it into you're you're brought into this new topic, into this new oh well, there's a new technology, uh, towers, uh, five um, G towers. Yeah. Then you started really, you started really research or think about it, and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. But then we've been living around this, you know, technology. Uh, this is my conspiracy theory on this shit, all right? Ooh. And I'm gonna get heavy with it right now. And smack them up. Check this shit out. I think that artificial intelligence. Has already been in control of the world. All right. How this is this back? is this How far back are you talking? This about? is me at my most conspirational. All right. Let's say that <laughs> computers came out and, and oh, dude, supposedly, supposedly, I don't know how fucking true this is. Supposedly, during World War II, Photoshop already existed. Supposedly, oh, shit. and we could look that shit up. Supposedly, during World War II, Photoshop already existed. Right. I don't remember the source. I don't remember none of that shit. World War II? But here's my thing, all right? Yeah. But here's my thing. 
I think computers have existed far longer than we've been allowed to 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 know. I think that uh, you know they 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 started with computations and with all this shit, and you know eventually they they created something. And I think somewhere along the way they created some sort of intelligence. All right, an artificial intelligence. And I think that motherfucker took over. And I think that's the reason why Bill Gates is over here pushing for fucking all this other bullshit. Because hmm. I think that the artificial intelligence is somehow controlling Bill Gates. Or maybe they made a fucking robot or a dummy or a clone like that Zuckerberg motherfucker that looks all weird now and shit. And I think that it's, it's fucking crazy. We are going into... Have you heard of transhumanism? Dude, I, I heard something about it, but not 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 in depth. We're eventually gonna start replacing our fucked up body parts with robotic parts. There's a fucking thing that they created that it's like a thing. It's a it's a it's like a ah. How can I explain it? Like what a, did you say? It's called transhumanism. It's a whole movement. I I hmm, I I heard about it or I read something an article about it, but it wasn't. Based on mechanical uh, trans uh, transfusion, it was more like a scientifically um uh, what do you call that uh, uh experiment experimental human human tissue yeah uh, organically grown using uh what is what do you call that um stem cells. Okay, that's that's a whole I don't other. Know if, uh... That's a whole other uh, 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 subsection of it. Right. Eventually, transhumanism is. Okay, I don't know if you've seen this. There's a dude. They showed him online, and then again, it's online. I don't know if it's fucking real or not. But this dude uh, lost an arm. I don't know if he lost it during a fucking war or whatever. He lost an arm. They replaced it with a robotic arm. The fucking thing is just grafted to his skin and his nerves and his bones and he could actually control it with his thoughts. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That's where we're headed. They created a fucking, uh, uh, like a microfiber that can wrap around your heart and keep beating your heart. Like if you, if it were to stop, if your heart were to stop, it would keep beating it for you. Oh, shit. There's a lot of these things that they're creating. The Neuralink, that fucking shit that uh, yeah, uh, Musk. Elon, Elon Musk wants to, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's typically a mm. fucking okay. So in my in my brain, in my head, in my in my thoughts, we're we're fucking robots. Dude. We're some sort of fucking malfunctioning, uh, generic version of a of a fucking super robotic being. All right, mm. our bones are fragile; they break. Uh, if, dude, we are fucking fragile. So are we the? You're uh, insinuating we're the prototype. I think we're no. Pro- I think we're the generic version. The generic version. I yeah. think that they they created some motherfuckers before us, and they were tough as fuck. So they were like, you know what? Mm. Trip out on this. All right. I always go back to this. All right. We as a species have amnesia. Right. We don't know how the bit or the pyramids were built. We don't know how hmm. Gobekli Tepe came to be. I'll explain that one to you later. It's a this site. They found a site that's like 10,000 years older than the pyramids or some shit. Where? Uh, fuck, in uh, Tepicoloyo. Big nah, and... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's out in... Uh, 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 fuck, I want to say Turkey, somewhere around those areas. Oh, shit. I'm not positive. I'm not... I, I got to look more into it. But they found this fucking place. And the construct of it, though is very uh scientific like all these other places you know you've seen these ancient alien shows that they have you know uh these uh you know uh peru they have the pyramids they have machu picchu they have fucking all these fucking places around the world but nobody see but as a species we don't have a reference as to how any of that shit was created right so my conspirational ass or yeah, let's say the, the the guy that likes to smoke a joint and overthink things, all right? That's me. I think that, yeah, they herded us. They created us. They herded us. And if we're not what's expected, they wipe us out. Hmm. 
The reason why I say that is because why is it that in every religious book that has survived from the past always has a fucking Armageddon. It always has some sort of end of the world scenario. It always has um, the, mo- the, the, the one that I really recall is uh, uh, the Indian one and I'm going to butcher the fucking name it's called the Bag- Bagdavita Bagadavita ba- Bagadavita I believe sorry I know I fucking said it wrong I'm sorry what is it though is it uh, is it from I believe it's from India and it's based on um... <clears throat> excuse me it's based on it's based on the Indian gods and it has all these stories and the religion and whatnot. but in that story the gods come in these flying temples to destroy mankind for its sins. I think it's for their sins. I'm not positive. And they, they, they are, they're shooting, they shoot. I forgot how it explains it, but basically they detonate a weapon that shoots out flaming arrows and a giant plume of smoke into the sky. Dude, that's a bomb. It's a fucking bomb. So in my opinion, the the uh, Bhag- Bhagavad Gita. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look up uh, nuclear war in the Bhagavad Gita. So so this is basically like the 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 previous Bible before the Christian Bible because the Christian Bible is. I guess you could say it's based on those. On the Christian Bible comes from the Torah. And the Torah comes from? The Torah is its own book. And then this is its own book. And then you have uh, the the Quran is actually also the from Quran, the I, Torah, I believe. I think, the no, yeah, the Quran is a, is a newer rewritten version from uh, the Middle East. I don't know. Somewhere yeah. At, and... But uh, I think from it all, the Torah. Yeah. It comes from the Torah, though. Yeah, it all Torah, comes from yeah. the Torah. This is its own book. This is its own like religious book. I'm not sure where it was created. I don't know if they found it. I don't. In future episodes, we're gonna do a little more research. These are just conversations, okay? Yeah. But here's the thing. It's its own thing, okay? But trip out. They also have a savior. I forgot the name. They also have a savior that was born December 25th of a virgin. Hmm. That story. That's what I'm saying. It, it's, yeah. But that story is in a shitload of fucking different religions. It's in fucking Sumerian. It's in fucking Babylonian religions. It's in like all these fucking different religions. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, though, what I, what I was getting back to was um, according to the Bhagavad Gita, there was, it sounds like it was a nuclear war or a nuclear explosion hmm. that decimated, you know, humanity. And they've actually done, uh, in the sands of, uh, fuck out there in the Middle East. I'm not sure exactly where, uh, they've done tests of the sands out there and they have found debris that could only be created by a nuclear strike. Hmm. But do you believe that? Do you believe? Well, at the end of the day, it could all be bullshit, you yeah. know. But yeah, my because cons- like you said, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the human race is in amnesia. It's is you know. Yeah. The questions, the questions to be asked are limited. The mm-hmm. curiosity is limited. Right. You're not gonna you're not gonna try to find out. You only follow what what is what is uh most most. Most of the humans follow what is being given to them to believe. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's not until recently that they started questioning, like, how old the fucking Sphinx was. Hmm. The Sphinx has fucking, uh, uh, what is it, water damage. The Sphinx has water damage at the base. That means that it had to have been built. And, hey, that's another thing. I think that the pyramids might have been built underwater. And that's the reason why they were able to build those motherfuckers. Because, obviously... Something that dance loses. Uh, I could be wrong. You know, did that's you just see, one of my theories. Did you see that that uh, that post I sent sent you? The dude about the guy that's moving uh, 
uh, tons, blo uh, blocks that weight tons with uh, just um, wooden himself. wooden bars and mm -hmm. and and rocks. Mm -hmm. I mean that's and he's testing the theory itself. Yeah. So well, he created that. I think that dude created his own uh, little like amusement park type of thing mm. with all the megaliths that he like yeah. erected. I like that word erected. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, this dude created his own little like I, I forgot what it's called. I think it's in Florida. I fucking don't remember. Well, did you did you talking about erected? Did you see the supposedly that uh that that uh thick um piece of metal that they found coming off the ground, the mon monolith or whatever? Monolith? It's fake. Uh, from Utah. It's fake. I found the video where these guys go and investigate it, mm -hmm. and you could see the 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 saw marks, like what they used to to saw the floor. You could see saw marks on the on the on the top, like where where it was cut. M maybe, and they were showing like really close how it's like hollow on the inside, and they were saying that it was just basically stainless steel. Then again, these guys weren't scientists; they were just a bunch of assholes out there with cameras. I don't know who they were, hmm. but um, yeah, I don't know. Up and, up and coming uh director crew. Uh, maybe yeah, 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 doing a little, a little stunt. Yeah, I, dude. Nowadays, with all the tools that exist and all this shit, I think motherfuckers could fucking pull some hoaxes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, dude. But it it it's fucking crazy. A lot of our history has been buried. In order to find the history of this planet, they need to dig and dig deep. Did you see the the Easter Island shit? The fucking Easter Island heads. They fucking decided to dig. The motherfuckers have bodies. Oh. The motherfuckers have bodies that are underneath the fucking earth. After this long? Look that shit up. Look that shit up. I swear, dude. They fucking decided. I don't know why they decided to dig. I don't know what the fuck. They dug, they dug down and these motherfuckers have full-sized bodies. Those are just the heads. And those things were discovered many years back. I don't know when they were discovered. I mean, supposedly. What I don't understand is why they why they had to be discovered. Why the fuck isn't there a written history of this shit? Hmm. How the fuck could that get lost in time? You know what I mean? That's that's what's fucking crazy. Like they don't know how the pyramids were fucking built. Like, okay, what happened between when they were actually in civilization and there was people around, and then now, like something had to have happened. I think there is. I think the. There's obviously history behind it. The only t it, it you the, the only history you know is the one they want you to know. That's it. Right. So they don't give you the background. They don't give you the specification of right. the truth of because if you think about it, every every um every country that has discovered, uh, for example, Me Mexico that has discovered so many pyramids, in the Chichen Itza, mm. or or even Peru. Dude, Guatemala. They found, they did uh, LIDAR, which is a uh, radar, but with laser. And they, oh, they, they found like a hundred fucking pyramids underneath the forest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, the shit's nuts, man. But look, that's what I'm saying. If you think about it, um, most of these countries that have, you know, that have those, uh, what do you call those? Uh, Technological those fossils, advances. Those, those, uh, those. Uh, oh, relics. Relics. Yeah. They all take possession of it. Nobody takes possession of it. Not not the people from the land. Nobody takes possession of it. The government takes possession of it. The right. the, the, the the country powers, itself. The, the powers that be. Yeah, the country itself. They take possession of it. They create the story. They give you the background. And nobody can go and see it without no. You someone, cannot. Yeah. You cannot be in there. It's a private. It's a private yeah. sector. It's private property. It belongs to the to the state, the country, whatever. Yeah. And it's used for amusement. For tourists, right? You go there, you walk around, you 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 read stories yeah. that are posted there for you to read, and you have guides, right? You know, and guidelines, and they've all been taught yeah. what to say. Yes, none of them that did their own research. There's no, there's that's all you're gonna find out. The further research is the ones that are that are, um, the 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 establishments that are taking care of that. Right. That know why they should preserve it, and yeah. why they should keep it, and what's what's really for. Because 
you're never going to discover this. You, you know where I think the answers are? At the Vatican. Oh. You know that there's a library, yeah. there's a library underneath the Vatican with like hundreds of thousands of fucking books that are locked away from everyone. You have to be like a a, a top dog and uh you know, uh I don't know, I don't know if you got to be royalty, I don't know if you got to be uh the fucking uh senator of fucking Oklahoma. I don't know. I don't know who you got to be, but you got to be somebody to be able nah, to have access to those books. Yeah, you're you're that's uh <laughs> It's too coincidental. That's something that we're never, we're not gonna. Well, did you hear that I shit? At the, I don't think at this age we're gonna find anything yet, or oh, we're gonna nah. be able to conquer or go under or take over that land, or whatever. Or I mean, know? if you if if I could do it, I could do it. <laughs> like if you if if people sent money to the podcast, I you know, and they fund well, yeah, me. you look like a pope that touches kids for sure. <laughs> So oh, I that's think, a low blow, dog. I think, so I think you could make it in there. Like that's a low blow for the Pope, and, and <laughs> not for me. I think you know. I think that if you if you throw on a fish hat mm. and a robe, mm, dressed like a wizard, and you you sit in your freaking couch, you know, you you lock yourself in your in your in your bedroom for a hot three months and, and study Italian. <laughs> Or Romanian, or or or, or uh, <laughs> yeah, the Italian, Latin, or, the Italian. La- or the Latin language. Or oh, Latin, yeah. You you set. You ready to go? The you only know? thing I know in Latin. And and uh. get a few nasty strippers. Ooh. That have no life. Yeah. And just, well, that's what I need money for to get the fucking strippers and and, and some cocaine. Mm. And 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 tell them that you're 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 you know they're, they're just gonna play a role. Yeah. Of uh of nuns and you're the pope. I mean you're uh <laughs> what they call those um not the pope An but the archbishop. Uh, archbishop. I'm telling you you're you're playing a uh uh it's a it's an archbishop that pimps hoes. <laughs> you know yeah. that all those guys are chosen, right? You know that you have to be chosen and you have to I think it's kind of like the 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 Freemasons it's kind of like yeah, it's a cult. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is a, a heavy, cult. It's a heavy cult. Though. A heavy cult. A heavy, big ass heavy, cult. Heavier than just a Freemason, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they've been around for all, fucking all, Yeah, all that degrees, centuries. all the degrees and all that bullshit. Yeah. I think the degrees is they start it starts playing that as far as uh like Freemasons, they have all these degrees, right? Where the thirty third, the twentieth, yeah. the third, the the fifth, whatever. Yeah. But I think it, as far as the Vatican goes. The Greek starts as you being a priest. Oh yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. it starts. Yeah, because oh, yeah. because uh, archbishop or that that's already. Oh yeah, you're already like in you, it. You already hid a bunch of fucking secrets. Oh, you already that's you've done. That's you've how done you some, tested some sick some sickening acts. You done. Hey, by the way, b- by the way, uh, not to get too conspirational here, but um. From my understanding, I think uh, before you become a Freemason, there's a bunch of rituals and shit that you have to do. But then back in the day, I don't know if this is still true or not. And I heard this from someone that, you know, had a relative that, you know, and they weren't supposed to talk about it or whatever. But um, uh, apparently they used to make you sign a blank sheet of paper. 